host Leslie Taylor, online editor for Workboat.com, and I'm reporting to you from the floor of the International Workboat Show in New Orleans. Um, I'm here with Richard McCreary, Vice President and General Manager of Southeast Shipyards for BAE Systems. How are you doing? Fine, thank you very much. We're delighted to be here. Thanks for taking the time to talk with me. How's your show been so far? It's been very good. The traffic has been good and uh, our present customer base has all been by and uh, obviously it's a very robust time in the market. So I'm hoping you could tell me a little bit about any changes that you've seen in the industry over the last year. Well, I think that we've continued to see the comeback, if you will, in the Gulf of Mexico as more and more leases have been let, more drill ships are coming in and obviously more boats are being built. Yeah, so tell us about this boat that we see behind us here. Well, this is a subsea sport vessel for oceaneering uh, that we signed last week. It is based on a Marin Technique design, the 6022, and a very robust, heavy-duty vessel with a 250 metric ton crane. Sure is beautiful. What are some other uh, products and discussions that you're having here at the show? Well, we continue to look out at other opportunities in the Jones Act transportation market as well as in the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, we're now seeing the beginnings of the replacement market on the articulated tug barge side. And what do you see ahead for BAE Systems in the year ahead? Well, we continue to work on building our backlog, building our workforce, building our management staff, and that's all an ongoing process. But uh, we're much further along this year than we were last year. That's always good to hear. Well, thank you again for speaking with me. No problem. Thank you very much. For Workboat.com, this is Leslie Taylor. Mm -hmm.